got recently in the clinic. It's this beam we got from the Foot Collective, and it allows us to get out of our shoes and get barefoot onto the beam and to really work all the little foot and ankle muscles that we have available to us. They have so much, um, get so much gains with the sensory input, so the feedback we get from all these little foot and ankle muscles, and so that really can help us in really good positioning for hip, knee, ankle, foot, um, injuries and working on strengthening and really repair single leg balance. So we're going to get onto the beam and just as, as simple as trying to get that foot wrapped around, making all those little foot and ankle muscles work while we're standing just in single leg is a task on its own. So sometimes we get you on the beam with just holding and trying to stabilize and what has to happen if he doesn't keep this position, if these foot and ankle muscles aren't working, or the knee drops in or the hip drops in, he loses control. So we work with the balance beam and another support first to just work to stabilize, to hold. And what he finds is that he ends up tightening up his tummy, he ends up keeping that knee in good position, making those little foot and ankle muscles grip around. And we have so much information and feedback and it can really help to work on that strength. Once he feels good with that leg, we switch right away to the other side and this is where we can really start to pick out any of the deficits. Maybe we're really strong on one side and don't realize how weak the other side is. Or maybe we start seeing that balance up top lose it and the foot and ankle is just working so hard. When we can start controlling and getting that feedback, the muscles come along really nicely. When he gets really comfortable staying still, then we work in the, to the dynamic part of it where he brings one leg on and the other leg on and we're going to start walking forward and back. And so again, using a pole either on one side or on both sides, and he's going to step on with the other leg, using those little foot and ankle muscles and trying to get them awake will really help start to help that position and really start to drive in through the hip and the ankle foot. And then he steps forward with the other side, transitioning, trying to catch it. And if he has to step down, he can. But the more work he does to really try and get those balance reactions, is strengthening, is waking up that nervous system, is waking up all these muscles. His job is just to stay on his bank for as long as possible. Once that gets good, we can go into some backwards walking. And then our eventual goal is to get rid of the pole completely. Other things we can do on the beam too, and working through some of the, mu the muscles through the front of the foot is working into a sideways walk or sideways um, stand. So the foot collective group calls this our ninja stand and then our ninja walk. So coming on facing the knee, he wraps kind of his foot around, working through again, and you can just see all his little foot and ankle muscles working so hard to keep him in good position. And if he was losing things through his knees or his foot, he wouldn't be able to hold on. But the foot starts everything, and from this bottom-up approach, he really can start a nice, stable base here, which helps give him a really good, solid support here, because that's the first thing that contacts the ground. And his job is just to hold it 